What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. This video is going to be some important things that I need to discuss about 15.2 beta 2 and beta 1 no longer being signed and what that means for jailbreak purposes, because it is indeed important. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, which allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device. Check it out in the link below. Also, thank you to the people who are supporting this channel on Patreon, they are right now on your screen. So as you probably are aware from the video that I just posted an hour or so ago, this exploit has been released and this exploit supports iOS 15.0 all the way up to 15.2 beta 1. That's quite a great range and it was confirmed by Jake James that this vulnerability is indeed supporting iOS 15.2 beta 1 because it is indeed vulnerable. Now as you probably know iOS 15.2 beta 1 and beta 2 have been signed and stayed signed for a lot of time after 15.2 got unsigned. So they actually stopped being signed a couple of days ago so they stayed signed a lot of time. You had a lot of time to go to 15.2 beta and I did discuss that in my previous videos. I even talked about the air squared blob saver and how to use it in order to save the blobs for those betas by right clicking on the beta in here, copying the link and using it in the program. Now if you did that, that's great. If you're on 15.2 beta 1, that's perfect because it means you can use these in here. If you're running 15.1.1, it also works. It has been confirmed by the community that 15.1.1 works as well, even though Binary Boy only mentions 15.1 in their post here. You can see 15.1 because that's what they tested on because they have iPhone 11 and that only runs 15.1 not 15.1.1 it doesn't exist for that device but yes 15.1.1 is supported as well and 15.2 beta 1 is supported as well 15.2 beta 3 is not supported beta 2 is not supported and also 15.2 the release one is not supported unfortunately Apple stopped signing this which means there is no way whatsoever right now to do this to go to 15.2 beta 1 or to 15.1.1 or to 15.1. Even if you do have saved blobs with air squared blob saver, for the moment you cannot use them because there is no exploit to allow you to set the nonce. They may be usable in the future if you're on a lower version, for example 14.8 or 14.7 and stuff like that, to update the 15.1 and whatever. But if you're running 15.3 or 15.3.1 or 15.2 and stuff like that, you won't be able to downgrade. I do have tutorials on how to downgrade here on my website on iDeviceCentral.com, how to use future resources and of course the SEP and Basement compatibility which I keep updated over here and you can definitely check it out in the link below but upgrading and downgrading is quite flaky. Now a lot of people ask me on Twitter to cover whether you can use OTA delay you know in order to get to 15.1 or 15.1.1 or 15.2 beta and stuff like that. Well it seems that according to the community and many people who tried this you will get an error if you try to use OTA delay. It might have been patched by Apple, they might have done something server side so that you cannot do this. So I would advise you to not try for the moment because it doesn't seem to work. If I do get any cases that work, I will definitely make an update video, but for now OTA delay isn't an option either. If you are running 15.2 beta 1, then definitely stay there because it's great and this full kernel exploit works and it can be used by Uncover. So it's a matter of time for you at this point. So yes, Apple stopped signing the betas and if you are running them, definitely stay there. 15.2 beta 1 and 15.1.1 are confirmed to work by the community and Jake James, another security researcher in our community. So if you're running 15.1.1 or 15.2 beta 1, they do work, do not update. The community tried them, so do not update your device and wait for Uncovered to be updated. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow and peace out.